So I've been maxed out again. Uh, I delayed harvesting these suns. They were supposed to be harvested on the 20th, and uh, today is the 21st, I think. Yeah, and um, so I'm backed up again. I've got a full house on my rack, and then I've got those two going here. And um, decided I need to slow down production and uh, rewrote my wellness mix. Here's my old Friday, Tuesday, Friday harvest cheat sheet, and uh, I'm going to change that out. So here is a single crop. This is a um, standard block of wellness mix, and the sunflower is a 12 day plant generally, uh, and this is fairly cool. If it's really cold, it can be up to 14 days, so um, um, that uh, complicates things a little bit. Brassicas are typically 10 days. Uh, I want brassicas to harvest on the same day as sunflower, so I plant them two days later on day two of the sunflower uh, grow. Radishes are a seven-day crop so I plant them on day five, which also happens to be the unstacking day for sunflower. So this is a single crop, it's sort of a building block that uh, I use um, to, to continuously harvest. What I have been doing up to now is I've been targeting Tuesday and Friday as my harvest date. So I have one, uh, cal I've calculated everything out and um, I know when to seed each of these so that I will get a Tuesday harvest. And then the next one is all uh, coordinated so it'll be a Friday harvest and then and so on. Then you get the next Tuesday, the next Friday. And um, that has, uh, that's kind of based on what I see commercial growers doing. They typically have a farmer's market on Wednesday, a farmer's market on Saturday, so they're preparing for that. But one thing you notice, there are only two days between here, between Tuesday and Friday, and there are three days between Friday and Tuesday, and you're still growing the same amount, but you don't have as much time to eat it. My focus is now, at least, is more on personal consumption, so I'm going to switch to a five-day crop plan. So now the day of the week is not really important. Um, what is important is every five days I'm going to seed, and um, the each of these are the same building blocks. That's one crop. And on day five, which happens to be unstacking day for sunflowers, I plant the next batch. And you'll also see brassicas. Two days later than seeding, I'm seeding them. And I will be using um, labels on the trays, and I'll identify the seed date, the unstacking date, and the harvest date for each of these. And you'll notice that the days are irregular, they're not coming in on the same day, there's always five days, well four days between, but a five day schedule, every five days there's a harvest. Here's my cheat sheet, and um, sunflower uh, the seed day is really the start of everything. Um, five days later I'm going to unstack. Twelve days I hope to harvest. There can be some variation depending on how the plant did, but um, that's what I hope. Brassicas. <clears throat> Brassicas are tied to the sunflower seed day plus two, and I will have to make a note and make sure I remember to do that. And then the brassica seed day plus five is unstacking, brassica seed day plus ten is harvest, and this will all be on a label. Um, the radish, 
So sunflower, the unstacking day is five days after seeding. When I unstack sunflower, I will know I have to plant radish. And then on the radish label, four days later, I will unstack. And then seven days after planting the radish, I will harvest. Sunflower next crop, so we're talking about that next block, that next crop coming up. Um, also, once again, this sun, first sunflower on stacking day, five days later than seeding, that is uh, the day that I seed the next crop. And then the entire cycle starts again. Here's just a quick seeding rate. I also put that on my cheat sheet. So I worked out, uh, you know, I'm working on personal consumption here. I worked out uh, what I actually thought I could use, and I'm thinking that a 50, 150 grams per day is adequate for me. Now I only need five days because I've got a new harvest coming in every five days, but I do give some away, so I added a little bit. So roughly my desired uh, target harvest yield is 1,050 per harvest and I, uh, these are what I estimate I get out of my trays uh, based on past experience and I put together this mix which broccoli is a brassica but I want to focus on bro broccoli due to the sulforaphane content um, and so together there are two trays of brassicas one tray of radish, one tray of sunflower, and I am uh, reducing my seeding on the sunflower, so I expect I will be a little bit lower in yield than I usually do. So that adds up to 1,100 grams, which is 50 over my target, but uh, that's pretty close. So that is my new five-day plan, and uh, I can do that using the same number of rack spaces, same number of plastic trays, um, same seed. It's, and I can switch back to the Tuesday, Friday at any time. It's just um, a matter of, and I still have my old cheat sheet, so all I have to do is um, uh, start following that, that uh, week, day of the week plan, Tuesday, Friday plan, uh, and I can go back to that. And here's my new cheat sheet and um, we'll see how this works. Um, hoping that I will have less problems with overproduction and less uh, waste going to the compost pile.